Looking for a beautiful three bedroom home in Wayzata featuring an updated kitchen, open concept, and just blocks from the lake? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I bring you a video walkthrough tour of 709 Wyzetta Boulevard East over here in Wyzetta, of course. Uh, those of the th beautiful three bedroom house behind me, we're gonna go check it out. Be sure if you enjoy this video, hit that like button and check out the description below, where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. If you enjoy the video tour, but the house wasn't quite what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to the channel where I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So, here is the property behind me. This beautiful house behind some private hedging here. And I do just wanna show Right down here too, we do have the garage too. Nice drive, garage. Some cool vines on the side of the house here. Over here in Wyzetta, just four blocks from Wyzetta Bay. We are on Wyzetta Boulevard. Got some other single family houses around here. Walking through the hedge space here, you got a nice little kind of front area with some landscaping. There is a fenced in backyard over here too. We have a little sneak peek of it and then we'll check it out towards the tail end. But really the beautiful part of this house is the inside and the location. So let's get inside and check out the home. All right, so upon entering, come into this beautiful open concept layout where we have modern paint themes, recessed lighting, big open concept. There's tons of space in here too. So you can really kind of set it up however you like. We've got Awesome hardwood floors, staircase that leads upstairs to the bedroom level. There's a lot of windows too that kind of wrap around this entire room so it stays very light and bright. As you can see over here they have a setup where we've got the TV and the couch. And like I said, you've got a Ton of possibilities with how you can choose to utilize this. Kind of cool too. You can see some of the vines coming off the house um, over the windows, but yeah. And this main level too flows around in kind of a circular fashion. So we're gonna head over through this way and take a look at the kitchen here and the world's biggest plant. It's actually pretty cool if you ask me. But we have our kitchen over here. And we'll just do a little deep dive. Some nice newer hardware, some backsplash, we've got under cabinet lighting, sink, window, stainless steel dishwasher, we've got our gas range, built in microwave, and over here we have our refrigerator, and some more pantry space. And then if you choose not to put in a huge fern, you know, you can go ahead and put in either a table for a kind of an eat-in kitchen if you want, or just use this and maybe set up some more cabinets for, or excuse me, some more counters for more counter space. Uh, you know, a little stand here works well, but obviously you have room out here for things like larger tables and setups too. So, flowing around to the back side here, this gets out back. This goes downstairs, but we'll finish the rest of the main level here first. So over on this side, we do have a guest bath. So we've got our sink mirror, toilet, and then we have a tub down here too. We got a couple of closets here for storage and over here as well. And you can see it flows back into this side. So you've got the stairs that kind of cut through and get you upstairs, kitchen over here, bathroom here, and then uh, the basement and back patio. Let's go upstairs. Take a look at the upstairs level. We do have carpet as we come up. And we've got three bedrooms up here. So directly off to your left when you come up, there is a bathroom. So we've got sink mirror, toilet, and then our tub shower. And we've got all three bedrooms down here. We'll hook off here to the left for the first one. Good size room, overhead ceiling fan. A 
big closet here too. Speaking of closets, we do have a linen closet right here as well. And then here's our front corner bedroom. All right, ceiling fan here too. Really love the additional windows. Just brings in a lot of light. Again, four blocks from the bay too. Great location. Got another big four door closet. Then we have our master bedroom over here. Another nice corner one. Overhead ceiling fan. More windows. And even being up the busy street, still pretty quiet in here, which is nice. And then check this out. So you've got a row of walk-in closets here, just to kind of give you a little sneak peek. You got plenty of shelving in there. Ample closet space, and then the master has its own bathroom. So you have a toilet, sink mirror, and then a nice tiled shower with a glass door, and then a spot for toiletries and such. All right, so that's the upstairs. So we got three bedrooms up here, two bathrooms. The master has its own walk in uh, private bathroom as well. So we've seen the main level and we've seen the upstairs. There is a finished basement too. We'll go down there and check it out. The current tenants are in the process of packing up and getting ready to move. So it's a little, you know, it's more or less just a place for boxes right now, but we'll still show it to you. So here's your finished basement. See there is carpet down here. We've got recessed lighting again. And then we've got rooms off both the back sides. This one right here, just basically a closet. We've got walk-in additional storage. It's not a room that's big enough to really use for anything. And then over here, we have our laundry room, in-unit washer and dryer, a little sink basin. It's actually a pretty good sized laundry room here too. So you got some additional space for, for storage and such. Nice and clean. And then over here, we have ourselves a mechanical room. So we got our furnace AC, water heater, and water softener. All right, lastly, let's go check out the back here. I wanna show how you get to the garage from the home as well as the fenced-in backyard. So the garage, you just hook a right, right off the back door. It's right here for you. So you got a two-car garage, and it is a very deep garage too. As you'll see, it goes back quite a ways. You have rafter space up above. So lots of space here storage-wise. And then nice six-foot privacy fence. There's your AC unit. This heads back down around to this side and front yard here where they're not using it right now but got some patio pavers out here to do a little fire pit if you want and then a gate that gets you back to the front if so desired or you can keep it closed and have it be fully contained all right well that concludes tourist property if you have any questions be sure to let me know otherwise thanks so much for watching have a great day bye now thanks for watching our video tour if you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.